Hey there, it's Farmer Brad. And today I have a couple projects I'm gonna work on. One is one of the water nipples is leaking. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to replace a water nipple on a automatic chicken water bucket. So here is the leaking water nipple. What you need is a drill. And when you order some water nipples online, they come with this little square adapter. So let's get to fixing it. Oh, I'm just gonna let these chickens go out to give me a little bit of space. Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, well first I gotta take this one off. And I'm gonna put this on. And this one actually has a water gasket on it. And just like that, let's see if any of these others are leaking. That was an, that was an easy fix. The next thing I need to do is I need to get some water for the chickens out on pasture. So I'll pick up their water tank and fill it up. A project I'm not gonna do today, but I'm pretty excited about is, this is a plug that will go on this part of the lawnmower. And I'll put it right here far enough away from the engine that then I can plug in for the auxiliary power to the water tank on the back. Then I have this awesome like fighter pilot switch so I can flip that up and and turn it on or yeah pretty much it's like flipped up like that and I can turn it on and when I turn it off, it's good to go. So that'll probably go somewhere like there. And then I also have these uh, toggle switches that will be able to turn on the front lights that I plan on adding. So I'm pretty excited about that. But for right now, we'll just take the lawnmower to go get the water. So this is the next project I want to work on, cutting these trees out of this fence line 
and then putting up three boards because um, the sheep have been crawling underneath there. So yeah, I have barbed wire along the bottom here, but if I put some boards on the other side, then that will be much better. And let me see how the boards are fastened. And looks like it's screws. So I'll just give that a try. Looks like it might have actually been two by sixes instead of one by sixes. So hopefully it'll be strong enough. And I gotta get the hand saw to clear those off. So let's go get that. So here's what it looks like before. And now I gotta cut those limbs. This is what this side looks like and uh, I just cut it down with uh, the Fano saw works number two works great the other alternative would have been to get my electric chainsaw and carry the generator and it just would have been a big hassle so I did a little bit of sweat but I got the job done Now I'm just going to drag these branches over to an area where I have an erosion issue and hopefully that will help slow it down a little bit. So as you can see over here the ground kind of slants down and part of it is there's a field tile that drains into this pond. So I'm just going to Lay those branches over there and hopefully that will help retain some of the soil. Okay, these boards are a little bit longer than I needed, but that's okay. I'll double them up in 
order to make it stronger. So let's get started down there. So I'm using uh, deck screws. They're pretty long so that we can uh, get through the stuff we're into. Okay, So this is how it looks. It will get the job done. And yeah, I think it will it will work fine. The main goal was to keep the sheep from slipping under there. Now over here, if they try to slip under here, I do have some barbed wire there. Um, but I feel like all of the sheep are big enough that they won't be able to fit under there. But if they do, I'll just get another board and just kind of continue it on. So uh, if lumber prices go down, then I might 
take off these top boards and then just extend it all the way down uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer, but we'll see. Um, so I went with the uh, one by sixes, probably should have gone with the two by sixes, but with the price of lumber, um, I think I'll get by with this. And then they ended up being longer than I had anticipated. So, um, I doubled them up so they should be a little bit sturdier and, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just a simple project that I had on my to-do list and wanted to get it done. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, like this video and subscribe to Farmer Brad YouTube channel and let your friends know about our channel uh, as we're growing. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers uh, and uh, just excited to get there. Have a great day and until next time.